This service Urban Bound consisted of studying our question, which is, does Melbourne offer a wide enough range of dining cuisine and cultures to attract outsiders and vacationers? Yes, yes. After many hours of studying and interviewing people looking for the answer to this question, we came across a strong conclusion that the answer was yes. Melbourne is known for its food. There are so many precincts in different streets, such as Little Chinatown on one half of Burke Street, Little Burke Street, etc. Mm. Everyone we interviewed agreed that one of the main reasons tourists travel to Melbourne is because of the different types of foods. But of course, other events had a major part in Melbourne tourism, such as the AFL and theatre. Yes, I agree. But everyone we interviewed said that Melbourne, the main part, the main reason tourism comes to Melbourne is because of the food. And even our formal interviews who, and food store owners, they all said it was yes. So our conclusion is yes, isn't it, boys? Yes, 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 yes. yes. What were your findings in your interviews? Well, found a lot of the interviews, heaps of the people said like they agreed with the question that there are lots of different cultures in Melbourne. And also I found out that there are like like well Melbourne's really well known for its food because of the wide range of culture. Thank you. Okay, so Cooper, okay, well, what were your main findings in the interviews? Okay, thank thank you very much. Um well, um, I mostly found that, you know, the people didn't thought there was a lot of different varieties of um, different restaurants. It just wasn't overloaded with clubbies and all that jazz. And so, yeah, they, they really found it quite attractive. So, what were your findings on the uh, street interviews? What did you find out? Well, Cooper, I found out that most people came for the CBD, which is Melbourne City, and they really enjoyed the city and all its food there and stuff. And also that Melbourne has enough varieties and cultures on food to attract tourism and so basically what we found is that Melbourne does have like the widest range of cultures basically in Australia and it attracts so many people which is good. I also found that if the same culture people are eating at their cultured restaurants that restaurant is usually really really good. So, yeah. Maya what were your findings in the street interviews and the formal interviews? Um, even though some people said that they come to Melbourne for the food and culture of the different varieties, people also come for the experience of like the events. <laughs> <laughs>